important to ensure that the future is one predicated on prosperity. We don't want to advocate ideas and focus exclusively on material wealth. Not of it means having to lose our soul and our very essence of being human. And being human is to care to our fellow human beings, to show compassion to those less fortunate than us. When did we become so callous to suffering? When did we become numb to the fact that our elderly have to clean our tables, wash our toilets, and collect cardboard just so that they can live up their remaining years on this earth? I don't believe that we are such a nasty people. I believe that we've been led astray. We have become so indifferent to the plight of the weak and the powerless because we've been told for decades that no one owes us a little. That it's every man for himself. We must find our way back. We must find our soul again as a people. Because a people without a soul cannot and will not find life. Life We must impart wisdom. Wisdom that invites an individual to enter the door of his conscience. The conscience that speaks loudly and clearly of our values. Values that people come before profit, rights before riches, and wisdom before wealth. Such wisdom cannot be found in textbooks. You can't search for it on Google. <laughs> it can only be approximated when you have the freedom to speak truth to power. And it's a freedom that we have lost. But for our own sake and for the sake of our children, we must regain. This is who we are. That is what we stand for. And it is what we must strive to uphold. These values keep us united as Singapore Democrats. It is what is going to help us succeed as a party, and most importantly, it is what is going to bring this Republic of Singapore to a better future. It has taken us time to get to where we are today, but it's been necessary. We have toiled hard. We have tilled the soil and we have planted the seed. And with the sweat of our brow and the tears of our spirit, we have cultivated the tree of democracy. May it bear fruit this election. Thank you.